A lot has recently been made of the number of PCs that will not be able to run Windows 11. In fairness, if you look at the minimum spec, those requirements don't appear to be too harsh. A 1 GHz processor, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage shouldn't be too much to ask. However, you can imagine my surprise when my new PC with a Ryzen 9 processor, 32 gigs of RAM and 2 terabytes of storage was also deemed not good enough for Windows 11. The reason for many PCs not meeting the grade, including new PCs, is the requirement for your computer to have a TPM2 security chip. If you built your PC yourself, chances are you didn't buy and install the separate TPM chip, which may explain why you now can't find one on the internet for love nor money. If you bought your computer from a vendor like Dell or Lenovo, chances are you'll be fine because they typically include them. However, to check whether your PC has a TPM chip and its version, type PowerShell into the search box and make sure you run it with admin rights. At the prompt, type get-tpm and hit enter. If the result comes back negative, all is not lost. The chances are your CPU supports a soft TPM and you just need to enable it in your BIOS settings. My computer uses an AMD board, so I'll show you how to enable it for AMD processors. However, it's likely very similar for Intel systems as well. I'll need to switch to my iPhone camera for this demonstration, so I apologize in advance for the poor picture quality. Okay, so having restarted my computer, I need to press the delete key to enter the BIOS. And once loaded, the first step is to switch from easy mode to advanced, either by clicking F2 on the keyboard or by selecting advanced mode from the menu. Now I want to click on settings and then choose miscellaneous. Under miscellaneous at the bottom of the screen there, you'll see the option to enable what AMD refer to as FTPM. Once enabled, save and exit your BIOS and your machine will reboot back into Windows. Back in Windows, if I reopen PowerShell and type get TPM, now you can see I have TPM installed. And if I rerun the PC health check application, you can see my computer is now ready for Windows 11. So that is how to check for and enable the TPM chip in your computer. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel, or you'd just like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.